Springfield XD40. Woo, man, that 180 ground 40 Smith & Wesson gets those targets bouncing around quite a bit. XD40, what a nice pistol there. Let me open this up properly. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the Springfield Armory XD40. It's a service size pistol that has mags currently that hold 10 rounds. Now, Springfield is one of the few manufacturers that's still making this, but they're only producing the XD40. You're not gonna see it in the XDM line, and so I had a chance to acquire this and I jumped all over it because I am a fan of 40 Smith & Wesson. It was always seen as an in-between the 9mm and the larger 45 and I, I still feel that way. And I do not feel that it is a snappy round. A little more than 9 of course, but you know you put 12 rounds of 180 grain bullets down range and it's just a lot of fun. It does have a pick rail right there, a four inch barrel. We know with Springfield Armory that it does have the grip safety. That forces a high grip on the pistol. I'm looking at a six pound trigger right here. Very nice trigger. I've always enjoyed the XDM and the XD models. I think Springfield does a great job, extremely reliable. There's no doubt about that. And with the four inch barrel, I believe that that is what the 40 was created for. The subcompact 40s, yeah, it's gonna be snappy. It's gonna be a little less manageable than a nine millimeter. But when you look at something like this, I find it comfortable to shoot and quite enjoyable. It does have a loaded chamber indicator bar, three dot sights, all metal and a, a great feel to it. It does have a ambidextrous magazine release that is left-handed friendly. But a, a nice pistol, it's a reliable pistol. I've had it for about a month now. I've always, I've always enjoyed it. Simple disassemble, move that lever up top, drop the slide, pull the trigger, and there you go. You can see it has dual recoil spring and a polymer frame. Big fan of the XD line. I think they're great and I certainly enjoy their models. And I told before on video that I was in the market for a 40 and this is what I went with. I think it's a great handgun. Let me load it up again. We'll get a, a little more of a close up view and you can let me know how snappy the 40 Smith & Wesson round is with the XT40. Fioki, 125 grain, hollow points. Here we are remaining about 12 yards back. One thing I forgot to mention is that the XD has a striker fire indicator. That silver button, if you will, pops out and then when the slide is no longer charged, it will go away. Remaining 12 yards back, you can let me know if you feel this is a snappy pistol. Those targets are hanging, probably may drop one of them, but here we go. I felt in complete control. I don't mean to, to beat that horse to death. It's just that every time I feature a 40 or I talk about 40, people say it's snappy. And with a service size pistol like this, with a heavy dual recoil spring, which is California approved, by the way, for all you people out there in California, this is on the buy roster. Uh, it's just a, a, a tame feeling for me. 
All right, and so I love the gun. I love the round. I'm happy with the choice here. Do you like it? Do you have a, an XD40 or something close? What's your favorite 40 Smith & Wesson handgun? And let's get this conversation started. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.